Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the things that I really regret buying. And if I had to do it all over again, I would not get them. So if you're interested in seeing what those things are, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, I hope you guys are doing good today. And today for me, I know I keep complaining about the cold, but it is really getting cold here in Northern California. I mean, cold. It was like 32 degrees when I woke up this morning and it was I was not wanting to get out of bed. I have the electric blanket and I was under the electric blanket thinking, you know what, I think I'll stay here for the day, but... Of course, life has to go on. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk to you about some of the products that I bought that I wish that I hadn't. And if I can spare you from, you know, buying something that it may not be all that great, um, I want to help you do that. And But then again, having said that, it may not be the same experience for some other people. Some other people may really totally love the stuff um, that, you know, I just can't deal with. And uh, some of the things I know, they did come with good ratings, but after, you know, having the opportunity to use it, it just doesn't work for me. And I will tell you why that is, so that way you can make your own educated decision on if you want to buy these things. And if you have some of these things and you feel differently, please do let me know. And please put it in the comments below if you actually like some of the stuff that I'm saying, yeah, no, too. And some of the things may not be because of the uh, the quality of the product, but it just doesn't work for me. Okay. And um, so with, without further ado, uh, let me just get started. And the first thing I want to show you is something that I actually recently bought, hoping that I can use this and doing a look for you. And I thought it was somewhat of a, not a complete dupe, but something that's similar to a more pricier uh, brand. And that's this one here. It's called Witch Side. And by looking at this palette, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? What's the brand? And if you say Huda Beauty, you're right. And that's exactly what I thought too when I looked at this. And then, but it's, this is by Essence and it's an affordable company. And um, it's not bad. I mean, the company is in Germany and these are considered drugstore brand. And like this palette here costs $14.99. And the, I believe this one is trying to be similar to the nude palette by, um, by Huda Beauty, which is $68. So, I mean, definitely, I mean, this is much cheaper. And let me tell you why I think they built it that way. It's because of this beautiful color story. I mean, this is very similar to the Huda Beauty. I mean, not exact, um, but very similar. It's missing a couple of um, glitters uh, that the Huda Beauty has. And actually, I don't like the glitter, so I, I would have been okay without the glitters. I mean, not that one, they're too chunky and greasy. And so anyway, I was going to do a look for you so that way, uh, once, um, you know, you see it, you, it might be affordable for you and you might want to get it and actually it's not a bad palette. And I did do a look and I did put it on and it performed very well. It really performed well. And, but then when I started looking at this, I'm thinking, why did I buy this? Why didn't I just get another one, you know, from Essence that I don't have a color, the same colors, because I'll probably never use this again once I do the look, because I mean, this is almost exactly what Huda Beauty is. And then, you know, I'd rather use that because uh, I don't know, it's, I like that formula. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this formula. I mean, there's not a, I mean, the colors are very similar. And hold on one second. Let me get the other one instead of me just telling you. Okay, so this is the nude palette by uh, Huda Beauty. God, <laughs> Um, and this is the new nude. And let me show you. You see? You see that? I think this is what they were trying to do. 
And the color story on this one, let me show you. You see, it's not that much of a difference other than the glitters. They, there's no glitters on the other one, but all of these uh, chunky um, dual tones are the same. Let me see if I can open the other one. I don't know if I'm that dexterous here. Okay, I just had a sneezing fit. Sorry about that. Okay, I don't know which is the best way. I guess I could do it like that. And I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, see, they're very similar. You see what I mean? And actually these, I mean the, this is the knockoff, right? Yeah, it's not a knockoff, I shouldn't say that. It, this is the Essence palette. This one actually has bigger pans. And look at the similarities in this. I'm gonna let you get a really good look on this. Okay, and now I will show you the Essence palette. There you go. Oh, sorry. There you go. So as you notice, it's a lot similar. So why did I go and buy, you know, an Essence one when I already had the Huda Beauty? Because I could have easily gotten something by Essence that I didn't have anything, you know, any colors because this is $14.99. That's their most expensive palettes. The other ones are like $9.99 and they're very nice. And, and they have very nice color story and the quality is pretty good. And so I can't say, you know, well, but the regret is not the fact that I bought this. The regret is the fact that I bought this and already have something similar. That's that. So if I had to do all over again, I wouldn't buy it again. Okay. Okay, and the next one, this is something you, you probably didn't see even in my, um, I don't think I showed it in my palette um, collection. And that's this here. Okay, and this is by B&H Cosmetics and this is 88 color palette. And this is a neutral eye palette. There's 88 colors in here. And you know what? I don't think I even ever used it. Well, I swatched it. That's why I can't give it away. But um, I mean, very little swatches here and there, not even all of them, maybe here and here, just try, try out the colors. But this here, I mean, really, I don't, I never used it. It's just, I don't know, I just can't get into it. And I wish I didn't buy it because it's now, this is a palette that's going, you know, it's actually headed for the trash because um, my daughter doesn't want it either. So, and then here's another one here. And this one here is by Sedona Lace again. and. It's similar type of, um, let me open it, similar type here, you see? It does have a mirror. Um, and this one here is not neutral. This is a little bit brighter and there are so many colors in here. But the problem is I never really used it. And did I even swatch this one? If not, I could give it away, but yeah, I did. I swatched it here and there. I mean, the nice colors here and there, I swatched it to see what it's like. And so, as you can see, I mean, this was a complete waste because now it's it's just going in the trash pretty much here soon. And then, um, and the next one is this here, which is the Norse Narcissist. And I love Norse. I really love Norse, and I'm not going to get rid of this, but uh, the thing is I regret buying it because it's a cheek. Um, this is three cheeks, uh, blushes, three cheeks, uh, three blushes. And then there is a beautiful lip gloss, which I completely forgot that was even in there. And then underneath it, it flips out into a highlighter and a contour. And so, um, this is something that, I mean, I don't reach for it. I just don't reach for it. When I bought it at the time, I thought it was really cute. And I actually was planning on taking this on a trip with me when I was going to Hawaii last year and I completely forgot it. So I didn't even get to really use it. So I have used it here and there and it's still good product. I can use it, but if I had to do it all over again, I'm not going to buy it. And I like the fact that the mirror is right outside it and it actually is pretty good because if you're trying to use the mirror, you know, it's on both sides, you see? But if it's in your bag, you just want to reach for it, like, oh, I got something, you know, it's convenient. Okay, that's that. And next, uh, another palette kind of similar to that, but it has eyeshadows, and, and I'm really I, really, I have a hard time saying this about this palette because it is a beautiful palette. But if I had life to do over again, I would not buy it. 
and this is this palette by Bobbi Brown and of course you know Bobbi Brown is high-end and she's got beautiful makeup but the thing is I mean um, I I've discovered I don't like things that have a mixture of cheeks and eyes I just don't reach for them here it is you see you have your two cheek colors this is also a cheek color highlighter and you have this neutral palette and it's actually a very very pretty palette and I mean even the colors are very neutral maybe because I'm not going on any trips you know if I was going on a trip I think I would just take this and I'll be you know done with it but since the COVID happened I mean we really aren't going anywhere so I'm not really taking anything anywhere so this suffers it has a beautiful big mirror as well so I you know I regret buying this <laughs> and it wasn't cheap and so yeah I'll hold on to it for now okay is this the oh no here we go here's another palette it's by Mophie and why do I regret buying this one it actually has decent neutrals here very decent um, and you know, I mean, look at the variations. I mean, just, it's across the spectrum, beautiful neutral colors, but unfortunately it's the same old, same old. It's, I mean, I have this in a Patricia, pa Patricia, Patricia Denona. Here I go again. <sighs> Natasha Denona. I have these colors in Natasha Denona. I have the glam palette and I also have the Biba palette, which is all, um, uh, neutrals and, um, and now I have this. Where did I buy this? I don't really know. I don't really know why I bought it. I was at Sephora and I saw this. I said, oh, look, it's kind of pretty. I think I'm going to buy it. Yeah, uh, not, not Sephora. It was Ulta. I was at Ulta and said, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy this. And I did. And, you know, I wish I didn't. So, I mean, this is getting ready to be recycled as well along with the um sedona lace and the bh cosmetics again not a whole lot of use out of it but um, unfortunately i have to purge some stuff so these will be getting ready to go here in the next month or so and next another eyeshadow palette here it is and this one smashbox you know why did i buy this i have no idea it's like Again, at, at um, Ulta, I was there and I thought, oh, wow, those are really pretty colors. And look, it's four, only four of them. And something I can throw in my purse and I can use when I'm out there. When do I ever put on makeup when I'm outside, when I'm out there? I already leave made up. And so no reason, no rhyme. I have no idea. But yeah, like this. And you know what, you guys, if you do the same thing I do, let me know. Tell me I'm not the only one who does this, you know, has buyer's remorse because, you know, at the time I buy it, I'm thinking, yeah, I really need this and I'm really going to use this. I really like this. And the next thing you know, it's like, yeah, no, why did I even buy that? I mean, does that ever happen to you? I mean, I need to be a little more picky. And I mean, if it, that doesn't happen to you, how do you stop yourself from buying stuff? And so anyway, that's that. Let me keep moving on. And then uh, next piece, I'm going to stay with the eyeshadow for now because I do have a few more palettes um, and then I'll move on to other things. And I think this one here, I, I told you guys about this already here. Um, you know, I shouldn't give up on it so quickly. I only did one look with it and I, it was really hard to work with. And it's a Too Faced um the Wonderland, Enchanted Wonderland. And this is the one that I used to make the look for you guys. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, there's a whole, ooh, I, that still smells good. Um, yeah, there's a whole video on this. And then of course the other two here that I haven't used and I'm thinking about putting it in, um, um, in the go away box the giveaway box because I've never used it and they're perfectly fine and I think somebody may like it and here's the other one uh yeah it just I don't know I you know what I am not I don't I can't say never because I know myself if I say never it'll never happen <laughs> but um I don't want to buy palettes anymore that has a mixture of eyes and face because I don't enjoy them. It's in, I mean, even though these eyeshadows, look at it, it's beautiful colors. Um, but you know, what am I going to do with the blush and the highlight? I have the blush and highlight, but I'm going to give this one a chance. I'm going to use this again and see, maybe I was having an off day. Maybe I was cranky that day. I don't know. And so I'm going to give it a try, at least this one. But I know like, I mean, these, I'm going to go ahead and put it in, um, uh, giveaways. And so that'll be that. 
And so, but I will go ahead and try it, but I do regret buying it because I don't feel it. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. This is what my daughter would say. So, yeah. And okay, what is next? Okay, this is the last eyeshadow palette, I think. Um, even though I think there's some in there that, you know, I don't even think about anymore that I regret buying. But um, this is it for the one that I do think about. Okay, and this is really sad. And you're probably going to be really surprised when you see this palette. <sighs> and um, yeah. And you know what? I didn't buy this palette for the longest time. I didn't. And I recently bought it maybe maybe a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, um, but no more than that because I wanted to complete it, the collection, you know, complete the series, and which is the Naked palette. And this is the Naked Ultraviolet. And I did a look for you on this, and I don't think it came out that bad. And I may reconsider it because I've seen a couple of... Um, responses from um you know you the comments that say i look good in purple so i'm thinking really if that's the case maybe i'll just try it give it a give it a shot you know but um this these colors are definitely ultraviolet but i do like the fact that these colors down here really help out to balance these colors down here beautiful color story beautiful color story but i don't know i just <laughs> I don't know if it's the quality of the shadows. I don't think so because I love Urban Decay, but it just, I, it hasn't grown on me like the other Urban Decays. All the other ones I love. I mean, and you know, Naked Heat, Naked Honey, um, Naked One, Two, and Three, and you know, all of the, all of them. But this one, for some reason or another, I just, I, I just can't groove with it. And it's, I don't know. But so I do kind of, I do kind of regret buying this. So, but we'll see. I, let, I might change my mind, but we'll, we'll continue with it. And um, I'll definitely keep it and work with it. So that's it for eye palettes. Next, moving on is this here. This is Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier. I love her products. And um, I even have her eyeshadow palette, which I really like. Um, I don't think I showed you a look with it yet. Here's her eyeshadow palette. And it's very pretty. Um, let's see. I keep the plastic, so don't laugh at me. There you go. And I think I used it once or twice, but these, you know, but beautiful color story. I love her. I love her stuff. But this one here, it's lipstick. And what possessed me to buy a lipstick in a palette? I don't know. I have no idea. Because I'll be honest with you, you, you see how much I've used it. Not a whole lot. Beautiful colors, but I haven't used it a whole lot because you know how inconvenient it is? I mean, I don't like sticking my fingers in there, so I use a lip brush, but I have a retractable one now. But still, you know how inconvenient it is to dig through my purse, uh, find, look for this, look for the, oh, I'll finally find the brush, I'll do this and do this. Ah, I could just pull a, you know, a lipstick out of my bag and just, and I'm done. But this, I have no idea why I bought this because it's, it's not useful, so... Beautiful colors though. So that's that. And moving on to some of the things that are not, you know, not, you know, these typical type of makeup. And the first thing is it's by Burt's, Burt's, yeah, it is. Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees. Man, I say that fast three times. And this is called a hydrating stick. And this is, you know, when you're outside, it's hot and you want to hydrate yourself, you're supposed to put this on. I mean, you can put it over makeup. Yes, you can. But I use this when I'm not wearing makeup and it's actually, it's, it's a stick. It, it works, but the problem is it smells like deodorant. It, it really does. I don't know why they put this kind of scent in here. And I didn't even see that there was fragrance really. And then, um, but it smells like deodorant. And um, I mean, I don't mean like normal, nice deodorant. This smells like, um, you ever remember Ban that has a roller bowl in it? Yeah, that's what it smells like. Just like it. And I remember putting it on my face. It made it feel really nice and refreshed, but I couldn't stand the smell. And so I really regret buying this. I really do. That's that. And another, staying on the same theme, here's another Bird's Bees um, product. And this is the uh, highlighter, you see? And it has a, uh, it also has 
like a um, hmm, petroleum type of product in there. The problem with this is, I mean, it actually has, it's nice color. I don't know if that's coming through. It's right here. But the problem with this is, this one smells good. It's waxy. And it's like wax. It doesn't like settle into your skin. It just kind of floats on top of your skin. I guess if you're if you're in a summer and it's really hot and your skin is warm and it melts in there, it's okay. But there's no way you can wear this on, unless your skin is warm and you know in the summer. And it looks nice, but really, why? I have so many of these things. Why? What possessed me to buy this? And so, unfortunately, the old glow by Burt's Bees, it's a no-go for me. And let's see, what else do I have? Huh. Yeah, this is a funny one. I think this is the last thing I have, but this is a funny one. And this is the reason why I stayed away from magnetic um, eyelashes for so long. It's because of this thing here. Okay. And this is by Ardell, which is a very good brand of eyelashes. But the problem is this was this easy to apply, no adhesive necessary, pre-curved band. It's one of those that this goes on the bottom, this goes on top. So you have to actually match the top and the bottom together. And then you have to pinch your real eyelashes with it. And do you know how hard that is? Oh my goodness. That is difficult. I have very good hand-eye coordination. I mean, really good. But this thing was like, yeah, it would stick like all kinds of wonky. And so huge regret. And these weren't cheap when it first came out. And it came with these little, um, uh, let me see, these, um, I don't think I have it in here anymore, but these little things here. It's like a, not a tweezer, but it's like an application tool, which didn't work at all. You try to put one on one side and the other, and by the time you try to bring it to your uh, eyelashes, it will click together. And so, huge waste of money. And I don't think this is doing well. Now they've gone to the magnetic um, eyeliners. And so, yeah, and that's exactly what I'm wearing today. Although I am, I did tend to say that I'm going to start back on the glue one again. Um, I, I have so many of these that I've gotten from um, Amazon. I don't want to waste them. And so I actually did um, put these on today. So that's, these are magnetic today. And so, and they're, they're the ones from Amazon that I talked about before. Okay. And so I think that's it guys. I know I have a heck of a lot more that I regret buying. And matter of fact, hold on a second. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this, but here, can you see this? These are a bunch of stuff that I'm going to get rid of. I mean, these unfortunately have to go. Even some of these things, this is, you remember, this is brand new. And this is the one I just received um from i think it was um boxy charm but the problem is i've already swatched it and i'm not going to give you guys things that i swatch and this is the um um lip pencil i think or is it eyeliner it's one of those um let me see uh it is oh it's the lip pencils and it's the ones that you um, oh it's a roll up type and i know I, it's wasteful but i'll be honest with you i've been doing a lot of research on things um like this that are um made in china and and if you i mean if you don't want to not ever buy anything chinese don't google these things because there are some really bad reactions that people have had and there's pictures of it and it's like i'm a little paranoid and so I just made a decision for me to stop using Chinese made products that are like this, things that go close to the eyes and things like that. So, um, yeah. And so now I have a whole box of things that I really, you know, I should, probably shouldn't throw away. And so, I mean, even, you know, and this is, um, under eye powder. I mean, it's practically new, but it is what it is. You know, I don't want to, yeah, I just don't want to take a chance. So, yeah, anyway, so that's that. Um, so I'm working on purging a lot of my stuff. I don't know if uh, you would be interested in seeing the uh, box full of things that I purged. And I'm doing um, research right now. On where can I get rid of some of this stuff, especially like these eyeshadow palettes, you know, that are from the BH. I mean, is there, do you guys know a place where they recycle this stuff? Because... 
Otherwise, I'm just throwing it in the garbage. I don't know if there's a way to recycle it. I don't know if there's, you know, because I can spray it with alcohol and pretty much kill whatever's on there. But I still don't want to pass it on to anybody. So, yeah. So if you have any ideas what I can do with it, let me know. And um, I'll be happy to um, take a look and, you know, look into it. So anyway, if I added any value today, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching, please do subscribe. And also click on that bell button so that way you will know every time I upload a new video. And I do upload new videos on a daily basis for now. And so please leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you have any uh, feedback, let's have a dialogue. So remember, oh my beautiful wildflowers, don't sweat the small stuff. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.